Hi there, and welcome back to Sam Kay's Prenatal Talk. Today, we'll be talking about what pregnancy does to the body. Be sure to watch all the way to the end so you don't miss out on tips that could just change your life. So, without further ado, let's get started. Pregnancy is beautiful, they say. It's a miracle, they say. Well, sure it is, but it's also painful, and they have clearly never carried a fetus to term. Many women admit that they never truly knew the power of their body until they gave birth, and it all begins with fertilization. Pregnancy is long, and in those 40 weeks of gestation, the female body changes in some surprising ways. Every single organ, muscle, and joint is affected, shifting and moving to accommodate the tiny human being growing inside of you. Your heart pounds in your chest, pumping around 25 to 50% more blood through your veins and arteries. Your hormones skyrocket, the catalyst for every change you experience. These hormones, relaxin and progestin, cause your muscles to loosen up to accommodate the growing baby. And we're talking about all muscles, from your abs to your digestive tract muscles. So don't be surprised if you experience constipation in early pregnancy. Heartburn and acid reflux are also common side effects of pregnancy, thanks to looser stomach muscles, which let acid loose into the esophagus and up into the throat. This can really aggravate morning sickness, but that's also hugely attributed to the HCG hormone, meaning morning sickness can really be any time sickness. Some women even develop a severe case of sickness called hyperemesis gravidarum, caused by rapidly rising hormone levels. You might have also heard of the mucus plug, which develops quickly after implantation to protect the fetus by keeping germs and bacteria out. The mucus plug stays in place until labor is close, but don't be surprised if it falls out several days before you go into labor. You might also notice that your breathing is a little faster than normal when you're pregnant, and it's not necessarily because you've been too tired to exercise. Pregnancy causes your diaphragm to expand, which can make breathing more difficult. But your body and nature have a plan for that, releasing more progesterone to stimulate the respiratory system and help you and your baby get plenty of oxygen. It's important to remember that your body is genetically programmed to keep both you and your baby safe, and that means making sure you both have enough sustenance to stay happy and healthy. For this reason, the kidneys are known to retain extra water and salt during pregnancy, instead of filtering these out as they normally would. This is what causes your blood volume to rise so much. Your body wants to make sure your baby has plenty to eat, which is why it's not uncommon to experience a deficiency in iron among other nutrients during gestation. They're all going to your little temporary tenant. While pregnancy is long, and it's not always easy, it's not forever either. And the good news at the end of the day is that all of these changes start to reverse even before you go into labor. To make sure you're as prepared as possible for this life-changing experience, check out the link in the description below for our top 10 self-care products for mummies to be. And for more prenatal videos, Subscribe and hit the notification bell now. If you're pregnant, good luck during this exciting time, and we'll see you again soon.